complete shock. Um, it happened so sudden and so soon, so a lot of people are hurt. A lot of people are devastated right now. Heartbroken over the loss of Baltimore native and former NFL athlete, 39-year-old Keon Carpenter. He had a, a keen level of awareness of where he potentially uh, could be viewed as being disadvantaged. And that's what drove him. And as a result, he always had a great appreciation and a passion for those who potentially were viewed in that same light. Keon's Woodlawn High School football coach has known him since the beginning, just a kid who wanted to play ball. There was that point there where I was high school coach and you know, that, that he would look at me with that admiration of, of, of just being the mentor and a father figure. Um, and as he continued to, to navigate and um, to meet every challenge at every level, that admiration really flipped where I was in admiration of, of, of Keon. Keon had a successful career in the NFL, but always kept Baltimore in mind. He impacted kids from probably Buffalo all the way down to Miami, Florida. Um, with Shutdown Academy. Shutdown Academy is part of Keon's nonprofit, the Carpenter House, a mentoring organization. The academy allows underprivileged kids to play the sports they love. And you can't speak for how important something like that is for kids to be able to have role models and leaders that they can go reach out and touch. We will carry his legacy and and finish those programs for him and make sure those programs continue running as he would want them to. A legacy that will live on here in Baltimore and in all of the lives Keon's touched. Mayor Catherine Pugh sent out a statement reading in part, there is a piece of Keon that lives in us all, and though he will be sorely missed, his legacy is everlasting through the good deeds and people he impacted throughout his life. Keon leaves behind a wife and four kids. Reporting in the newsroom, Lacey Griffith, WBAL-TV 11 News. Well, it's so 